So virtual reality in the sense, it is a computer generated environment. Once if you are experienced virtual reality, it is nothing but you are in the separate VR world. One is called non-immersive, semi-immersive and fully immersive simulation. These are all three categories of virtual reality. These are all different kinds of CMS software which one can choose for this application. Dear students, welcome to BCA classes. I am Ravi Kumar KR, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyasham First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Students, let us start our session with the concept virtual reality applications and CMS software. So we are going to discuss briefly about these two topics. Now let us start with a definition of virtual reality. So nowadays you are, we are all familiar with the word virtual, virtual. So actually the dictionary meaning of virtual is, is nothing but it is not real. So actually, so virtual reality in the sense, it is a computer generated environment and with the sense and objects that appear to be real, making the user feel they are immersed in their surroundings. So this is a definition of virtual reality. So virtual reality is nothing but it is we are going to create a computer generated environment so that with the help of different objects and different graphics so that the users feel they are immersed or involved in their surroundings. So this is a definition of virtual reality. So this environment is perceived through a device known as virtual reality headset and helmet. See, if you want to experience this, so we have to make use of these two devices that is headset and helmet. We are headset and helmets. Virtual reality is the term used to describe advanced methods of involvement and interaction of humans with computer generated graphics. So this is the virtual reality. So virtual reality where we are going to create a new environment with computers or computer graphics. And so here the user is, is interacting with that particular environment through a devices. It is usually 3D environment. So this is the meaning of the word virtual reality. So it normally it refers to a VR world means once if you are experiencing virtual reality, it is nothing but you are in the separate VR world. So it experienced by human participant through use of special VR equipment. So it will virtual reality takes you to its own VR world where the participants or human beings can experience or take part in through different VR equipments. Now let us see what are different uh, applications of VR or virtual reality. So here virtual reality and animations. So you know what is animation? Animation of some or all of the objects in the VR world provides a human way an experience that they can seem quite realistic. So that is virtual reality. So here the user or participant feel that so they are interacting with the real objects or realistic world. So many VR worlds are based purely on fixed animations and human interaction is limited to changing such factors as position and orientation of view. So this is uh, VR application with animation. Next one is VR and the real world. So here the VR world it provides animation that is based on rules of behavior and data in the model. See all these are VR virtual reality is built based on certain models and each model will be having their own behavior on our rules and regulations. So a human can interact to change the rules or data in the animated will change accordingly. So if this is an example where the human beings or the users or the participant can change the values and it's going to change in the model itself. So this is uh, the application of VR in the real world. Again, it provides human participant with experience and feedback data that enable valid and valuable inferences 
to be made about the real world environment. So this is we are one of the VR applications with the real world. Next, another example is sight. Another application of uh, virtual reality is with respect to sight, the common VR equipment handles how the human sees. This is called sight, sees the VR world. So this is VR world, that is the definition of sight. The stereo glasses, it is the through stereo glasses employed by 3D movies are a commonly understood example of this type of equipment as we have seen in 3D movies where we have to wear 3D glasses. So there is also an example for sight applications of virtual reality. In the next slide, and virtual reality with voice control. So it is voice control is now available on standard PCs. However, the quality of general tools for this type of interactive control is not a point that is application to try any VR world is simple and cheap. So here it is also possible to use with voice control facility through virtual reality. Next one is what are different types of virtual reality? Here there are three categories. One is called non-immersive semi-immersive and fully immersive simulation. These are all three categories of virtual reality. In the next slide, let us see what are all the different elements of virtual reality experience. So here, one is virtual world. See, this virtual reality takes us to a new environment that is computer generated environment that is called virtual world. And what is immersion? The users are placed in a virtual space cut from the real world on a sensory level. So immersion is nothing but the user or the participant will be completely in the virtual world. That is the meaning of immersion. So for time being, he will be cut off from the real world. Now sensory feedback, interactivity. Once you're in the virtual world, you can interact with the objects are available in the virtual world. Next one is comfort, interaction, video games, and education. See, these are all different elements or another applications of virtual reality. In the next slide, we are training in sports. Another application of VR in the field of sports. Here, using virtual simulation, you can practice skills in scenarios requiring a lot of people, material, and technical resources in real world conditions. And it is a good solution for sports like football, tennis, baseball, and hockey. So it is possible to use virtual reality in the field of sports for training different people. This is virtual reality in sports. Another application is we are trying for healthcare workers. So here it is also possible to train medical personal training like we can have nurses and doctors. It can be trained through VR or virtual reality. While simulating medical procedures in a significantly realistic environment, healthcare professionals can improve their skills in maximally safe and controlled environment. See, in the, especially in the field of medical science or in the, in the healthcare industry, healthcare field, see, better to have a experience or a practice with VR world. So before they're getting into the real world objects or real world scenarios or real world operations. So this is another advantage of VR in the field of medical science or healthcare workers. Next one is employee onboarding. So it is possible to train employees, those who are on onboard. For example, the if your company applies a specific training procedure for newly hired employees, it is possible to bring them up to date faster using virtual simulation. So this is another application of VR world that is training onboard employees or those who are freshers or those who are newly joined to the any company. Next application is we are training in aviation. So here we are for flight training. It develops students, students skills of sensing the distance 
with the stereoscopic vision allows them to learn cockpit settings and also controls well and can even replace instructors at a certain stage to significantly reduce the training program cost. So it is also possible to use VR in training people or pilots in aviation. This is another advantage. Next one is, next concept is CMS software. See, this, this CMS software already we have discussed in our first session. So again, you know, let me brief you about CMS software once again. So what is CMS software? This is content management system. It is a software, it is a software. It helps the users to create, manage and modify the content on their website without the need of technical knowledge. So this is a CMS software here. With the help of this software, you need not to be technically sound to make any changes or contribute to the website. See, that is the advantage of CMS software. It is you help the users to create, manage and modify the web content. And here, Drupal, WordPress, Joomla, Wix, Magento, Squarespace, Shopify. These are all different CMS softwares. Now we can see different types of CMS you can choose from. Here, this is from open source and proprietary software and source. Here. So open source source code is available. Most of the service can be available free of cost. Open source is the source code is freely available so that anyone can make use of this. And example for this, WordPress, Zoom, Joomla, Drupal, Magento and PrestaShop are example for open source software. And under proprietary software, proprietary software means is a owner. So here it has a license and these are the different examples. And these are all the source the package CMS features available in the form of software. These are the different examples. So these are all different kinds of CMS software which one can choose for this application. Next one is Moodle. So what is a Moodle? It is a free and open source learning management system. So it is a software, it is a open source software, Moodle and it is a learning management system written in PHP and distributed under the GNU, General Public License. It is used for blended learning, distance education and classroom and other online learning projects in schools, university and workshop and other sectors. So Moodle is one of the CMS software. Next one is Drupal. It is another CMS software. It is similar to WordPress. It is a free content management system. Again, software. It takes second place among the most popular CMS platform. So Drupal mainly target web developers, business or agencies that need to manage high level of data and digital content. So Drupal is another CMS software. Another next one is Joomla. It is also one of the CMS software. So it is another free and open source software where you will need to take care of domain registration, hosting, themes and maintenance separately. Joomla installer is meant to work on commonly shared hosting packages and easy to configure with high flexibility. One of the software is Joomla. Students, so far in the session, I have briefed you about the VR or virtual reality and applications and CMS software. Thank you very much.